Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. A number of private kindergartens in Gyeonggi Province recently suspended reopening after winter vacation. Gyeonggi Province took action to provide the children at these kindergartens with supplementary education. On March 4th, the Gyeonggi Provincial Administration announced its plans for supplementary education facility provision that will be implemented in cooperation with provincial and local education authorities. Gyeonggi Province will make public kindergartens and child care centers, as well as private facilities through negotiation, available to the children of those kindergartens that have temporarily or permanently closed this year. These facilities will be able to accommodate approximately 86,000 more children. And to this end, Gyeonggi Province is seeking permission from the Ministry of Health and Welfare for such child care facilities to accept up to three more children than their enrollment limits per class. These facilities also include those operated by local communities. The Gyeonggi Tourism Organization announced a plan for the construction of a tourist monorail from Imjingak in Paju City to Panmunjom in the Joint Security Area and eventually to Gaesong City in North Korea. Established as a place of solace for those who had come from North Korea and were suffering homesickness, Imjingak has now become a popular tourist park that sees more than 4 million visitors annually. This monorail will feature hanging type transparent carriages. Construction will progress in phases until the line is extended to Songak Mountain in Gaesung City, North Korea. The pursuit of this monorail, tentatively titled Peace Monorail, will begin with a formal proposal of the plan to the central government. This monorail will be a step forward in demilitarized zone development while also contributing to the local economy. Gyeonggi Province has been providing national health insurance beneficiaries who utilize the system in inappropriate manners with managed personnel medical services. GTV examined the details. Shim, a senior with right side paralysis, has been visiting a hospital every other day. He always has a pile of medicine packets in a corner of his room. However, his routines changed after he met with a health insurance benefit manager. <laughs> Shim also receives medical and rehabilitation services provided by a visiting specialist from a home care service center. He no longer habitually uses health insurance services, but now visits a hospital only twice a month. Last year, more than 6,000 residents received health insurance benefit management services from Gyeonggi Province. Through these services, a large portion of duplicate prescriptions and the excessive use of medicines and medical equipment could be prevented. Last year, such expense reduction totaled 20.8 billion Korean won in payments and 110,000 days in benefit applied days. 금년에도 의료급여 과다 수급자를 대상으로 집중적인 사례 관리를 실시 도민들이 낸 세금이 필요한 곳에 적절하게 쓰여지도록 노력하겠습니다. The health benefit payment reduction efforts of Gyeonggi Province will also include a survey of long-term inpatients as well as case management consultations and workshops. For the first time among second-tier lawmakers in Korea, the Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly enacted an ordinance for urban forest ecological remodeling support to promote forested urban environments as resident resting areas as well as for microdust reduction. 
Located in the midst of an urban residential area, this park has changed significantly after unwanted features were removed and remodeled into an environment-friendly landscape. On the former site of a defunct artificial fountain, fresh turf has been laid. Residents are pleased with the new and friendly environment that replaces messy wild vines with colorful azaleas. Urban forests also excel in the reduction of atmospheric microdust. One hectare of forest can remove approximately 168 kilograms of contaminants through absorption. This ordinance, known as the Urban Forest Ecological Remodeling Support Ordinance, pertains to provincial support for the creation and functional improvement of urban forests, parks, and green spaces, as well as for related supplies, including trees and greenery. This ordinance received the top prize in the local council ordinance awards. 미세먼지를 좀 최대한 저감하고 시민들에게 휴식 공간을 줌으로써 어떻게 보면 정서적인 함양도 있기 때문에 이런 부분이 필요해서 좀 이런 계기를 마련해서 이 조례를 제정하게 됐고요. Based on this ordinance, urban forest remodeling will be performed at 38 locations in 20 cities and counties of Gyeonggi Province to improve environments and expand resting areas for residents. The Gyeonggi Tourism Organization recently developed and introduced a tour course titled Gyeonggi Grand Tour that comprises a variety of historical, cultural, and natural locations in the province. This course encompasses mountain and riverside resorts, marine ecology in western regions, history and culture in southern regions, and nature and peace tourism in northern regions of Gyeonggi Province. This is a complete tour circuit of Gyeonggi Province that presents the millennium of the province. This course consists of 50 historical, cultural, and natural destinations in 22 cities and counties of the province. The total length of the course is 1,089 kilometers, longer than a round trip between Seoul and Busan. The tour course destinations have been selected based on four thematic categories, history, culture, nature, and peace, with a number of them featuring photo zones for tourists in their 20s and 30s. The Gyeonggi Tourism Organization published Gyeonggi Grand Tour guidebooks that contain, in addition to maps, detailed information about 50 primary and 147 associated destinations. These guidebooks will be distributed to overseas and domestic libraries and guest houses. The contents of the guidebook can also be viewed online via the Gyeonggi Tourism Portal. Grand Tour 개발을 통해서 각각의 관광지뿐만이 아니라 경기도 사실 외국인들이 경기도를 잘 모르는 경우가 많거든요. 그래서 경기도를 대 홍보할 수 있는 브랜드로 만들었다는 데에 제일 큰 의의를 두고 있습니다. Gyeonggi Province is also endeavoring to promote tourism through the development of historical and cultural tourism contents as well as museum and art programs. On March 7th, Gyeonggi Province announced artist support policies amounting to 13.2 billion Korean won over the span of four years, aimed at protecting the rights of artists. It is reported that 60% of artists in the province regularly work based on oral contracts that frequently lead to non-payment and even copyright infringement. In most cases, Jung, a Korean traditional percussion artist with 10 years of experience, receives job offers via phone without a contract. 뭐 따로 계약서를 쓴다든가 그런 적은 한 번도 없어요. 그러니까 그냥 핸드폰으로 연락이 온 거나 뭐 문자 온게 그냥 그게 저희한테는 계약서. Without contracts, artists in Gyeonggi Province frequently fall victim to unfair dealings such as unilateral pay cuts and non-payment. However, they have nowhere to turn for help. 그러니까 입소문이라는 게 있으니까 저희는 굉장히 이게 길이 좁거든요. 이, 이거에 대해서 얘기가 나오면은 이제 입소문으로 퍼지는 거예요. 음, 아, 얘는 누구, 얘는 이렇더라. The support policies announced by Gyeonggi Province will include a detailed survey of artist income and living standards, contract types, and art world practices for determination of support. Support policies also include those for young artists.
저작권 및 표준 계약 교육을 실시해 불공정 행위 예방 활동을 강화해 나갈 것이며 예술인 지킴이를 고용해서 고충 상담과 신곡, 소송, 분쟁 조정, 자문 등 annually 200 young artists below 34 years of age will be provided with support of up to 3 million Korean won for their creative work on an application basis. There will also be workshop rental support of up to 8 million Korean won provided to 30 selected locations this year, as well as the expansion of available spaces in public buildings. On March 8th, the Gyeonggi Province Delinquent Tax Team was launched and began full-fledged operation. The mission of its members is to track down tax delinquents, secure payment of overdue taxes, and, if necessary for those who are in financial difficulties, connect them with available welfare services. The delinquent tax team consists of 1,279 members selected from among diverse demographic groups, ranging from job searchers to career discontinued women and seniors. These members will track down and perform a survey of tax delinquents through visits. Based on survey results, customized collection methods will be used for individual delinquents. Deliberate tax dodgers will be subject to forcible tax collection, while those who have difficulty sustaining their livelihood will be referred to welfare services. Gyeonggi Province plans to mobilize 4,500 individuals over the span of three years to collect delinquent taxes totaling 2.7 trillion Korean won. 지속적으로 관리를 하면서 천하백을 징수를 해야지 되겠고 생활이 어려우신 분들은 자주 찾아뵙고 좀 어떤 도움을 주. There are almost 5 million tax delinquents in Gyeonggi Province with delinquent taxes totaling 2.4 trillion Korean won. The inauguration of the delinquent tax team not only provides new jobs, but also helps identify those in welfare blind spots. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.